and after I read this poem, I hope you see why. Bernadette, for and after Bernadette Crennan. Nine months after your stroke, you were standing on a chair in the Great Eastern, chic in tailored denim, fake fur and Celtic tats, a rock and roll weather vane still spinning in the draft from revolving hospital doors. You flung the scent of antiseptic from nerve-cinched fingers to the winds, and with your storm in a wine glass, hotel hooker in a gimp mask, epileptic on a night bus, pitch perfect poems, <coughs> charmed a Brighton pub to a chiffon hush, my writer's envy into seamless applause. Bewitched by your perfume squirt flirts and diamante giggle, it took me 15 years to notice your limp. You forgave my gauche blurt, wore an orange cocktail frock to the chemo ward, gasped as the butterfly cannula stung my hand, gawked at my drip bag of drugs, told my tumour to feck off, a breast cancer in-joke that made the Polish nurse laugh until her eyes peed. Now, my skull velvet pelted, armpit aching, scar tissue coiled like brocade in my breast, I ask you, should I do it? Book that photo shoot, moonlight as a weathered model for Saga Vogue and Age UK, yeah, you urge, go on, pretty lady. And I will, but right now, Bernadette, fuck fashion. Throw on Janice Joplin, Bowie and Sinead. Let's dance like wild child survivors. A duo of diva persisters. My numb arm crooked in yours.